it's one thing to develop a material, get certain properties. When you're doing it atom by atom and you see the atoms, it's a whole new scientific venture. It's absolutely incredible. So this is the Titan transmission electron microscope that we have here at the Technion in the Department of Materials Engineering. Danny Shechman's uh, discovery of quasi-crystals was done on a microscope um, similar in general nature to this one, although uh, about 30 years older um, and not, doesn't have all the technology that I'll describe in a minute. This microscope obviously is not something you buy off the shelf. And fortunately for us, I think this was the third Titan ever ordered. It's certainly the only Titan in Israel. It's a wonderful system. We're most fortunate to have it. Of course, we use it for fundamental research, um, and our students are trained to use it independently. It's uh, local industry come in and use it, and that perhaps indicates why electron microscopy is so important when I say industry uses it. Today, when we develop design new materials for applications, it's really engineering done at the atomistic level. Without the ability to get feedback and understand where the atoms are and how they're interacting, you really can't develop the ultra-modern material systems that we are so dependent on today. The Titan was actually purchased uh, with funding within the framework of the Russell Berry Nanotechnology Institute uh, here at the Technion. RBNI, is a wonderful institute which promotes interdisciplinary uh, science directed at the nanometer length scale or in buzz and jargon nano. You can't do nanoscience if you can't see where the atoms are. So this is a cornerstone of RBNI on campus and its activities and of course the Titan and other equipment similar to the Titan for pairing specimens uh, electron microscopy of other types is uh, used most heavily by people working within the Russell Berry Nanotechnology Institute on campus. The Titan actually, before we focus in on the microscope, a few words about the building. This building, it's not a room, is really, really special. So we're actually inside of something akin to a bunker as far as the uh, strength of the walls to prevent vibration uh, isolation from the rest of the world. But we're also standing on a floating floor, which is separated from the Titan. The Titan is actually standing on a pedestal, and it goes down about a meter below where we're standing now, uh, cut down into the bedrock of the Carmel Mountain. The walls have uh, acoustic insulation, and behind that is electromagnetic insulation uh, against radars, uh, airplanes, and even the elevator going up and down in the building we would see if we didn't have this kind of uh, insulation. The electron gun is way at the top. It produces high energy electrons. This microscope works up to 300,000 volts. That's the voltage that comes out of it. And then as we move down the microscope, each section is a different set of electromagnetic lenses. The lenses are not glass lenses like I have for my eyes. They're actually electromagnetic lenses, which we use to focus the electron wave. Perhaps the neatest feature that's in this microscope is the fact that inside we have a furnace and we can look at samples at up to 1000 degrees Celsius. The sample sits on the end of a, of a rod which we insert through the side of the microscope and it's actually at the end of this rod here. Um, the entire microscope inside is under ultra high vacuum conditions. We can't have any air in there. Uh, because it would distort the propagation of the, electro, of the electron waves. And this is what's called an aberration corrector. This beautiful piece of, ins of equipment right here is what gives us a resolution of 0 0.7 angstroms. Just so you get a feel of it, an average atom diameter might be about, let's say, two, two and a half angstroms, a small atom. And this is way, this is a resolution which is much lower than the size of an atom. So we can see atoms because of that. This is one of the best resolution microscopes available anywhere in the world. It allows us to really see the local atomistic structure, uh, understand where atoms are, 
which types of atoms are which, and today even to see the type of bond between atoms themselves. Thank you.